name's Chris Smith and I'm the head chef at the Three Tons in Bindham. Right, today we're cooking curried salmon with Indian flavours. So here, I've got baby spinach, coriander cress, some baby onions, they're going to come baby onion bhajis, some mussels, we'll do some curried mussels to go with the salmon, mango puree, and a cauliflower and turmeric puree as well on the plate, and curry oil that I'm going to cook my salmon in. Right, got a so side of locked Jawar salmon here. First I'm going to do is trim any of the excess off. Straight through the center of the salmon. Being careful not to cut yourself on the way. All I'm going to do is skin it. Not too close to the skin, so you take the brown off. Holding the skin tight. And when you turn it over, it should look something like this. Now we're going to portion it down. Looking around this kind of size portions. Right, now we've got our portions. Now we're just going to trim them up, make them look a bit neater. All we do is turn the fish over. Again, the other side. And that's our neat portion. Now, this is two parts salt to one part sugar, curry and cumin. Cover the salmon in this. Again, this will take any excess moisture out of the salmon and it acts as a seasoning agent. One, two, and three. So this would be say 200 grams salt to 100 grams sugar, and about 50 grams of curry powder, and about 40 grams of cumin. The salmon's been left now for 20 minutes to cure. So the curing process is now done. So now what I'll do is wash off the excess salt, sugar, and curry powder. I'm gonna place it into our, one of our bags with some curry oil I made earlier, which is simply curry powder, cumin again, and just standard oil. Now we're gonna vacuum pack it. Right. Now that's been vacuum packed, that's ready to be cooked. Now we're going to cook it in the water bath at 43 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. It's vacuum packed to take any air out of the bag. It cooks at 43 degrees, so the whole standard is cooked evenly all the way through. No uh, protein will be coming out of the fish, so there'll be no white coagulation on the outside of the fish. So in a way, it'll look raw, even though it's not raw. Right, going to get a few of the garnishes now ready for the dish. Start by cooking the mussels, simple rope growing mussels. Get a bit of butter in the pan, a bit of curry powder, while well, the curry powder and butter is melted, in go the mussels, splash of white wine, lid on. So these are baby seal skin onions that have been put in our bhaji batter, which is simply curry powder cumin seeds, cumin powder, a bit of cinnamon powder, and a bit of soda water. All we're gonna do with these, drop these. Baby bhajis into the oil. The idea is to be like a bhaji, but a bit more refined. Right, mussels, just about there. All started to open up very nicely. What we're going to do with them. A slotted spoon. Just them in there. And with our mini bhajis that are now lovely, nice, and crispy, onto a tray. A little bit of salt. Here we have some rice noodles. All we're going to do with these, drop in the fryer, and they'll pop up and be nice and crispy to add another texture to the dish. These into the fryer. And here we have some rice noodles, nice and crispy. 
This is one of them typical dishes we do at the three tons. It's a, a simple dish with spices, a bit more refined than your normal curry dishes, uh, along with puff classics like pie, fish and chips. And then we like to do dishes like this with a bit more refined for the diner wants to come out and have a nice meal on the weekends. Now the juice is left over from the mussels. Back onto the hob. And go some baby spinach, a bit pre-washed. Tiny bit of salt. Let that wilt down, that's near enough just there. Onto a J cloth. Pat it dry, any excess moisture will now come out. Right, the salmon's now been in the water bath for 20 minutes. Again, looks very similar as it went in. That's gonna be cooked about 43 degrees now. So now we do open the bag. Be very careful because it'd be very delicate now. Onto a little J cloth. No salt needed at all. And again, be very delicate as you can see. Right now for the plating up. Cauliflower and turmeric puree, which has been finely sliced cauliflower, cooked down with butter, milk and turmeric. Onto the plate. Small palette knife. Here I have some poi lentils. They've been cooked down in some curry powder, garam masala. All I'm going to do with these. Centre of the plate. Not too many. And here I have some diced potatoes, very similar to Bombay potatoes. That's our take on them, cooked in curry, butter, water. And a few of these dotted around the plate. No particular place. Starting to build the dish up now. Next thing on, spinach. Top the lentils. The salmon. Top the spinach. Little baby onion bargies. Scattered around. The mussels. Some mango puree. Nice dots around the plate. Some baby coriander cress. Again, herb always found in Indian cuisine. Again, uh, in no particular order. My rice noodles. 